and welcome to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. Hi everyone, so the other day I was thinking about my favorite money saving hacks. The hacks that make me feel most excited, really proud and in control and like I'm really making a big difference in improving my financial well-being and financial health. But the point I want to make is when you save money, you want to make sure that those savings really count. There's no point saving $200 over here if you're going to just go and spend it over there. But when you realize you've just saved $200 and you use those $200 to put towards your own financial goals, such as paying off your credit card debt faster, paying off your student loans, you really make those savings count. So my point is whenever you save money, proactively take control and do something with that money and put it towards your own financial goals. So you really benefit from these true authentic savings. Now, as you would know from watching my videos, probably my two most important financial goals are paying off my home loan as fast as possible and also building up my investment portfolio because as I do that, I'm also building up my passive income stream, which is the true authentic definition of financial freedom. All right, hack number one is loyalty programs. I'm a massive fan of loyalty programs, but only for businesses and services that I truly use. My number one favorite and most, I guess, financially beneficial loyalty program would be my Frequent Flyer program. Now, when I joined my Frequent Flyer program, I stopped and took the time to invest in really understanding how the Frequent Flyer program worked. So the key things I always do is I always fly with that airline, both internationally and domestically. And when there are times where I can't fly with that airline, I will use their partner program. So I'm always collecting points. And this includes both my personal travel as well as my work travel. So I'm able to not only earn extra points, but I'm also able to create a really high status within the membership program. So I get priority when it comes to using my points in particular for upgrades. Also, I have linked my personal credit card to my frequent flyer program. So whenever I go and buy something such as a big ticket item, I'll immediately transfer the cash to my credit card and pay for that item. That means I'm not paying any interest, I'm not getting into any credit card debt, but I'm still collecting those really valuable frequent flyer points. I also use the affiliated businesses in relation to that airline. So I will generally try and shop through those associated businesses so I earn extra points. And a classic example of this is the ANZ share trading platform. Both my personal and the thousand dollar project portfolio are through the ANZ platform. So every time I buy another $1,000 worth of shares, I pay brokerage, which means I earn more frequent flyer points. My frequent flyer program probably pays for at least two international flights for me and Tom every single year with the savings between $4,000 a year to $10,000 a year. To me, it is well worth it. My second and probably my biggest and best money saving hack this year is refinancing your home loan. I'm going to come clean with you guys. I was actually a little bit complacent and possibly a little bit lazy when it came to my home loan. I was so busy with work, but it was actually triggered by some work I did with Athena Home Loans. And no, this is not a sponsored video, but when it, I looked at the Athena Home Loan rate and saw how low it was and then went and checked what I was paying, I was horrified. So I'm actually in the process of refinancing my home loan and Tom and I are also house hunting, which is really exciting. And we're also talking about combining our finances and our own personal and joint financial goals. Now, this is going to be a series of videos that I make for you around relationships and money. And also I'm going to be my third book is a hand guide to love, money and relationships. So you want to make sure you subscribe to my channel and that notification bell is switched on. But in doing this and actually stepping up and looking at other interest rates that are available out there, Tom and I are saving over $25,000 a year in refinancing our home loan. When it comes to refinancing and getting a lower interest rate, such as through Athena or whoever you want to go through, you must maintain your same mortgage repayments as what you are currently paying. Now, not only is this going to save us the $25,000 a year in interest, we're going to be paying off our home loans so much faster. So those savings of $25,000 a year are actually, in fact, even bigger. So if you're going to refinance, make sure you keep your repayments as what you are currently paying, no matter how low those interest repayments are, because you want to make sure you get your personal debt out of the way as quickly as possible. 
my third money saving hack is more of a cash flow one. And that is I structure all my personal insurance where possible through my superannuation account. Most superannuation accounts allow you to take out life cover, total and permanent disablement cover, and some even allow you to take out income protection. I have all three through my superannuation account. Now the key benefit of that is the premiums are paid through my superannuation account balance, which means my cash flow can continue to be directed towards paying off my home loan as quickly as possible. But the secondary benefit to this is often when it comes to large superannuation companies and insurance companies is you get a group discount, which means the premiums come down quite significantly between 20 to 30%. But also sometimes you're able to access automatic acceptance levels, which means you can apply for insurance it's automatically accepted up to a certain level without having to go through any extensive medicals. Hack number four, which is a really good one that everyone and anyone should be doing anyway, and that is food planning. I absolutely hate food wastage. Don't ever show me an avocado that has been uneaten and is brown. It drives me nuts. It's such a huge waste of money. So what I do is religiously every Sunday, I will go through my diary and look at the week ahead. I will look at what nights of the week we are home for dinner, who's going to be home, what other commitments we have going on, and I will plan and prepare those meals for this night. Now, the benefit of doing that is it reduces the food wastage. I also then go and triple check my pantry, my fridge, and my freezer, so I don't double up on buying ingredients that I already have. I plan what I'm going to eat in advance. I will pick healthier meals. I will pick more vegetarian-based meals, and I'll make sure I pick meals that satisfy everyone in the household so that no one is complaining. But Tom always likes to say, cook once, eat twice. And also I find that my energy levels are so much better and it means I can get more done in my day and I sleep better. So it's a win-win-win on all fronts when you eat healthier and food plan. And then my fifth and possibly my most fabulous money-saving hack, which I think some of the viewers will find as their most favorite hack of mine that I'm sharing right now. And that is I love pre-loved clothes. You guys will know from my videos and my home tours that I love a little bit of luxury. I really love beautifully made clothes, shoes and accessories. And I have no problem admitting that. And one of my favorite places to do that is actually a clothes group on Facebook called High End. They have about 77,000 members and they're always selling Australian and international designers. And you can pick up clothes for like 70 to 80% off. In fact, only an hour ago, I just decided to buy a beautiful red dress. And I've already worked out there are at least three events that I've got coming up where I can wear this dress. But the savings is at least 70%. So I'm really very satisfied with that. So if you would like to check out this group for yourself, make sure you send me a friend request, but then send me a message saying, hey, Kanna, can you please add me to the high end group? I'd love to save some money or even hustle some money by selling some of my loved clothes on this group. But it is an amazing group. There is so many savings to be had. So make sure you are shopping consciously and mindfully. And remember my money mantra, only buy what you love, value, use, and appreciate. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. That notification bell is switched on, and I will see you later on the week. Ciao for now.